Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. It's a Wednesday video. I normally would do a legend in the lunchtime, but things are going to be a bit different for a little bit because I'm going to delve into Warcry. But before I do that, a uh, bit of housekeeping. Uh, the social media links up on the screen, they are going to be down below as well. So if you are interested in seeing what's happening on the painting table, get in touch via Instagram or Twitter. But, that's enough of that. Um, we, what we're going to do now, we're going to delve into the Orgroid Myrmidon and is he worth your time painting? Is he worth putting him on the board? And is he the right fit for your board band? So, this is going to be a unprofessional opinion. Uh, this is why we call the Noob with the Brush channel, because we're not very good, but uh, we try our best. So, stick with us and see if you agree with things said. And here is the uh, guy himself. He's an absolutely striking model, I will say. I, I've, I've got him out of the box. As I look at him, I'm trying to hold off uh, building him and painting him until I finished the other two war bands I've got. Because I've got the uh, Golems up to Tabletop, I've got Savage Beast and Corvus Cabal to go. And I think he is an absolutely gorgeous model. It is just... It, exudes power you know he's he's a big guy he's a big strong powerful brute and he looks it so um yeah i uh, think the sculpt is fantastic even down to the iron golem helm that he's standing on as he's walking surveying the battlefield so yeah i'm really impressed thumbs up well done you on this one it's uh, i gotta be honest it's i think um it's a cracking model and the fact that he can also be a leader in your Slaves of Darkness ar army, if you want to go down that road where you want to try and get as many warbands in on that side, he, well, he is an amazing model. He is a centerpiece and he is just a mini monster. He is a beast. So, enough of me oozing over the model. Let's get on to his stat card. And here we go, we got the start card in front of us. He's 295 points. He is movement 5, toughness 6, and he has 35 wounds. So he's got a, a well, he's got a, quite a fast pace considering the Aurochs have got movement 3. So he's keeping up with the majority of the Chaos War bands, I would say, because they are about 4. Four to five. Um, he's got a crap load of wounds, and he's got a good save because he's carrying on that shield. So, for me, uh, I recently came up against Oracle War Bands, and I gotta say, there may not be a lot of models on the table. There may be about five models, if. He just wants to do like the bit the big guys, but they hit hard and they take a shitload of damage before they can get down. I think if I didn't win by getting the objective, he could have wiped me out easily. So uh, that's enough about that. And for me, he is something that is needed for. For at least the you know the the general war bands, so he because he can well he can level the playing field, and that's my opinion. That's what my that's my opinion. He's a he's a level he's a he is the brute of your team. He's gonna go in there and smash the big guy. I know he's two hundred ninety five points, but. Just on his toughness and movement and wounds, he is w worth it for me because you can throw him up against like war bosses. You can take it. He can go toe to toe with uh, the stormcast. You know, it's 
there's a lot of different factions in Warcry that are tougher than the average warband for other, for the chaos side. So the fact that he's there to get get you you know playing equally basically, I think is great. Um, now let's go on to his weapon, which is the spear. It's got two inch range, three attacks, strength five, and you know strength five you're gonna be hitting the majority of stuff on a three plus, four plus if need be, and your normal wounds are four, your criticals are eight. So he is dishing up a lot of damage. And I think that's great because you could compare him to a monster and closest one I can think of is the Chaos Gargant and let me get into my uh, Monsters and Mercenary book and the Chaos Gargant is 305 points and without taking any damage his damage is exactly the same as the Myrmidon he's the same strength he's got one extra attack but he is not as tough. Granted, the fifth, the fifty wounds, you know, that's why he, he's the extra couple of points. But I think it's you know, he is a he's a mini gargant, and he is absolutely fantastic. And that's just him without his abilities. So. It's, I, I just I love I love the model I love I love the card I can't wait to get him on the field but what makes him fantastic is his abilities so I'm gonna go over his abilities now right then guys let's get on to the abilities now so the old old grind moved on it double is berserk the fighter can only use this ability if twenty or more damage points have been allocated to them at half the value of this ability rounding up the attacks characteristics of the next attack action made by this fighter this action activation that is a range of three or less so that's good enough for our old ride because his attack is under three because it's two so they've taken off 25 so when he gets to 15 or less you can start adding up double so you get a good roll and You've got sixes or fives. He's dealing out, you know, a lot. He's, you know, he, there's going to be a lot of dice rolling. He's going to make sure he is the last one standing. Which, for a very tough character that you want for smashing, that's exactly what you want. And that's a double. So, that's a great start for me. That is... You know, it doesn't take a lot for that one. Granted, you've got to sacrifice an activation on your war band, but hopefully by the the point that you need to use this ability, where he's down to tw and and the twenty wounds, there's not a lot left for your other car the other characters to do. So, the triple is arcane fury. Until the end of this fight is activation, add the value of this ability to the damage points allocated by each critical hit from the attack actions made to this fighter that has a range characteristic of 3 or less. So, these are not bad abilities considering that the first one, Berserk, was a double and this is a triple. They're easy to get. You may be unlucky one or two games where you don't get any higher than double, but that's the choice of a wild card. Uh, well die sorry um yeah and you you can high roll on your triple you're not you're adding you know you're adding five fours fives six that's that's going to take out a lot of the heavier uh heavier um parts of your enemy's um war band so yeah, it's, well, I, I think that's absolutely amazing, to be honest, that's, 
that's, that's, that's just asking to be used every, well, every round, to be honest, that one. That is going to help you mop the floor with the, with the enemy. So, I, th I think that's amazing. Uh, you don't need you don't even need the quad, but let's read his quad, which is Blood Marshal. Pick a friendly fighter within four inches of the fighter using this ability. Allocate one damage point to the fighter. If the fighter pick is not taken down, that fighter can make a bonus attack action at, as a range of three or less. So, if you if you run into combat and you've used just one attack action. It, by sacrificing a wound, you can do another attack, which is good. I don't think it's as good as his triple. It's great in case you, if you got the inability to use rampage, which I think rampage would be better, to be honest. But yeah, it's standout for me is is triple arcing fury, which. I, th I think that's amazing. That's going to wipe the floor with your enemy, and that's going to make him because that's going to make him a high target priority, which is justified, really. So I just I don't know what to say. He's just he, he's a must. He's a must. So we've looked at his stats. We've looked at his abilities, and yeah, it's. Is he necessity for your Chaos Warband? Yes. I wouldn't say so much about like Zinch or say Nurgle because even though he is he can ally with Chaos because he is a Chaos faction, there's there's no need. Like Corn might do well with him because he's a he's a heavy hitter. But we need to see their cards first, which are coming out of a pre-order in the next week. But for your basic uh, war bands like the Corvus Cabal, the Savage, Savage Beast, not the Savage, the Untamed Beast, the uh, Iron Golems, the Unmade, he is a must to bring your war band up to scratch against the likes of Stormcast and the Cahadran Overlords and against Oryx because they are models that's got a higher than average output for their attack and they've got um, high wounds as well so you, he's able to take out one or two without having to sacrifice a couple of your models because uh, in perhaps I was unlucky in my game on Sunday but I found I had to tie up a a few good Iron Golem uh, characters to just take out a Oryx and the lower the lower marshals and the, the ones with the shields and the clubs didn't have enough wounds to be able to last up against just a normal Oryx. So, like I said, perhaps I'm unlucky. Perhaps my opponent rolled higher than average. But I feel this guy is a necessity for your, the original eight. So perhaps I'm wrong. Perhaps I I sound like I'm going to be rely on this guy way too much. He is going to make an appearance in the campaign that I will be running in my local club. But that's going to be after certain events and um, stuff like that. It's going to be in line with the campaign as a whole. It's not going to just be starting. Oh, here's my wall band plus my Myrmidon. So, yeah, perhaps, perhaps I'm looking at it wrong. Let me know. Do you think this guy is a necessity? Is he something easy to rely on? Or are you not bothered by him? Let me know in the comments down below. And that's it guys, that's the video on the Ogroid Myrmidon done. We've gone over his basic stats and abilities and my outcome on it is a necessity. 
like I said already, let me know, know down below if my opinion is a bad opinion and am I not seeing other units as worth it? So I'd, I'd like to know so I can improve my game and hopefully I can bring you better content in the future. Um, there's social media links down below, please come and visit us. And there is also a PayPal for the channel, which which is there. But we've also got a Teesprings account for our T-shirts. More more designs will be on its way. And yeah, um, just share amongst your friends. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe for future content. If you're already a subscriber and you know somebody that would listen to this, please pass it along. And that would be amazing. But, yeah, guys, it's, I don't know what else to say now. It's, uh, it's the end of the video. I, th I can't thank you enough for staying with me the whole length of this video, if you have stayed that long. And, yeah, stay tuned for future Warcry content. See you in the next video.